In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, nest all of these files on, or all of these objects onto one sheet, and how to create your toolpaths. So what I'm going to do is, first thing, I'm going to pin my toolpaths here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first start off with um, nesting the files to make sure that everything's going to fit onto one sheet. Okay, so our when we go to nest, I'm just going to come down from the top. Um, at the top, we have our tool diameter, but um, so our tool diameter is 0.25. Okay, we want our clearance to be zero, and what that means is we've got 0.25 between each piece. So when it goes around, it leaves 0.25 you know, uh, on the, the shapes, okay? So the next thing down is we want our border gap. So you want, with this material, it's gonna be the softest, it's gonna be very soft. So we want to make sure that our border gap is 0.5 or greater, okay? So I'm gonna start with 0.5. I'm gonna go to preview and see what it does, okay? So it plops all these on here and it makes them 0.25 apart. Works perfect, looks good to me. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and since this fits this well, I'm gonna try to move it a little bit bigger to give myself a little bit bigger gap. So now I'm gonna preview it and see, and that fits on there well. So I'll, I'll go up one more and I'm gonna say one, and then I preview and it still fits on there. Um, so let's try 1.25. And, oops, sorry, 1.25, let's try that again. Preview, and you'll see it plopped some pieces onto another part. So point, or one inch is gonna be the best for me, okay? So preview, it plops on there, okay. So that's how to get our parts nested. So that's step one, is to get everything placed onto one sheet, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is, um, I, I, I'm going to show you here. So these pieces here need to go into these slots. And the best way to do this is to actually take a line and put it from middle to middle right here. Okay. So I'm adding from middle here to middle there. Okay. Middle here to middle there, middle here to middle there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for all of these, okay? I'm gonna pause that because this takes a little bit. Okay, uh, in that time, that what I did was I added lines from the midpoint here to the midpoint here on all of these pieces here, okay, that are gonna insert into these other slots. And the, I'll tell you, I'll show you the reason in just a little bit. We don't wanna cut on the inside of this. We want this to start, the bit to start here and end here, okay? So, now we need step, the next step, which is step three, is to create our toolpaths. So we, we're gonna do it all with uh, 2D profile. And I'm just gonna come down here at the bottom and I'm gonna say um, inside tool path, okay? So inside or inside cut. And I'm gonna start at the top. So it's gonna be 0.25 thick. So I wanna make this 0.255, okay, 255. So 0 0.05 thicker uh, than cut. We only need this to cut two passes, okay? And then we're gonna say inside. So we're gonna go inside on this one. And so um, we also are going to add some tabs, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, we'll do this point, point two. Oops, sorry, I said that wrong. Our length is going to be point five. Our thickness is going to be point two. Okay. So then um, we're going to click on this is inside. I'm holding shift. This, 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 this this, 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 and these, okay? 
Now, these are pretty big, and I don't want them to break off. So this is why I'm going to add some tabs. I'm going to add a tab from here to here, and here, and here. And then I'm just going to, and in the end, we're going to cut them off. We'll put one here, and here, and here. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, done, calculate. It'll tell me it's cutting through the material. We hit okay. I'm going to hit play, and boom, there we go. All right, so our next step is going to be doing the, uh, the on. We're going to cut on that face. So this is the same. This is going to be two passes. And we're going to say on, and this time we're going to choose this, 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 this. And you have to click them individually, you can't really circle around them. It's not as easy, so. And that's it, okay? We don't need tabs on this one. We're going to go ahead and hit calculate. We're going to hit OK. And then preview. Oops. Preview. So these cut a slot, but the slot is going to be a little bit wider than that that uh, space that you put, okay? And then the last one is going to be our, we're going to go up to profile, we leave this the same, 0.22255, we change this to two passes, and then we're going to select outside, okay? Now. We're going to come down and we're going to add tabs also. And this time we're going to add a lot of tabs because this is soft material. We can cut them easily and it'll come out really, really nicely. Okay. So I'm going to put the tabs that I'm going to do. I want at least one between these two and you want them to line up. Otherwise it'll create one and then it'll cut it right back off. So I'm going to align, align this, we're going to put one here, we're going to put one between here and here. This one's long, so I'm going to do two, one here and one down here. We'll do one on the outside on all of these objects. We'll do one here. So each object is going to get at least four, some will get five. Okay, so I'll do one here, I mean six, excuse me, here and here, here and here, and then here and here. And you'll see all the tabs, so these smaller pieces or these square pieces get one, 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 so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, oops, I almost missed that. Mr. Ruggie, that was a close one. And it's good to count those. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now, last thing I'm going to do, um, I forgot to write this in before, but we'll say out side path. Calculate. Oh, it says some have open contours. Well, that's interesting, so uh, I'll show you what to do with that. So I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to click on this little button right here, and it says there's open 12. We're going to go ahead and um, it's not going to allow, allow me to join them. Interesting. Let's do that again. Let's just go here and I'll select. These and it does it's not open anymore for some reason. I don't know why. But so when I go to calculate it should. There we go. It's going to go all the way here. Interesting. All right. We're going to go to preview all toolpaths and you can see all the tabs that hold everything together. And that's that's it. So um, 
the last thing, the last step, and I'm going to go kind of slow through this so you can see. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to go to save. You want to make sure that this is checked. Output all visible toolpaths to one file. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to select CNC Shark USB Arcs Inch. Okay. And then go ahead and save the toolpath. Um, it's important that before you do this, have me check all of these things and you can go ahead and start coming. Okay.